Japan's government has held its second seminar on the Fukushima nuclear plant accident to ease Chinese people's concerns about radioactive contamination. More than six months after the accident, China maintains a partial import ban on Japanese food products, and many Chinese avoid traveling to Japan. About 100 people, including Chinese government officials, corporate representatives, and journalists attended the seminar in Beijing on Monday. An official from Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency explained the current situation at the plant. He stressed the government's continuing efforts to cool the plant's damaged reactors and prevent the spread of radioactive materials from the facility. The official said the conditions at the plant have been stabilized. A, rep a representative of the Agricultural Ministry explained how Japan monitors food products for radioactive materials and said products now in circulation are safe. The Japanese government has done well so far, but there may be a problem that hasn't been found yet. Oh, I wouldn't rule that out entirely. Something is still unclear. I want more explanation in the future. I see you don't fancy my suggestions. Well, you're not serious, are you? Well, Japan is likely to freeze a research and development project related to putting a fast breeder nuclear reactor into practical use. The move is due to uncertainty over the nation's future nuclear policy following the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The Science and Technology Ministry is planning to ask that only 20 to 30 percent of the $130 million currently allocated for research and development on the project be included in the ministry's 2012 budget. The ministry is also to request about $260 million next fiscal year to maintain and manage the troubled prototype fast breeder Monja reactor in Suruga City, Fukui Prefecture. The amount is roughly the same as the, that budgeted for the project this fiscal year. Fast breeder reactors run on recycled spent fuel as the core of nuclear fuel recycling programs. Japan has been conducting research to put such a reactor into practical use by 2050. Well, in the wake of the Fukushima accident, the government had been reviewing its basic energy plan, making the country's future nuclear policy unclear. The ministry says it has concluded that it cannot proceed with the project unless the direction of the policy is clarified. Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda, speaking before a parliamentary budget committee, has said his government will focus on rebuilding areas devastated by the March disaster and on containing the nuclear crisis in Fukushima. Noda was speaking at the beginning of a two-day lower house budget committee session, the first since he took office in early September. Reconstruction and bringing the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control, these are the top priorities. The Prime Minister said the government is in the final stages of putting together a third supplementary budget to promote reconstruction projects. He said he will make every effort to consult with opposition parties so that a bill is submitted to the Diet at an early date. Noda said the government will also implement measures aimed at reinvigorating the Japanese economy. We have to revive the Japanese economy and respond to growing concerns over the global economic crisis. We will bring steady progress in dealing with the economic crisis. Documents released by WikiLeaks say Japan advised the U.S. President Barack Obama not visit Hiroshima during his trip to the country two years ago. 
The information was in diplomatic cables from the U.S. Embassy in Tokyo to Washington in September 2009. The cables included exchanges between then-Japanese Vice Foreign Minister Mitoji Hobunaka and U.S. Ambassador to Japan John Ruse regarding the President's visit scheduled for November that year. Yabunaka reportedly said that unless Obama was going to apologize for the atomic bombing, public expectations should be tempered. The cables quoted Yabunaka as saying it would be premature to include such a program in Obama's trip. In April 2009 in Prague, Obama resolved to achieve a world without nuclear weapons. After the speech, there were growing expectations among the survivors of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings and others that he would visit the cities. The Japanese and U.S. governments explained later that the president's visit would be shelved due to a scheduling conflict. The Japanese foreign ministry said it is regrettable that the documents were leaked illegally. It said it will not comment on nor confirm the documents. The Chinese and North Korean premiers have agreed to cooperate to resume the stalled six-party talks on the North's nuclear development. The talks have been suspended since December 2008. North Korean Premier Che Yong Rim met with his counterpart Wen Jiabao on Monday. Wednesday, China hopes the relevant countries will improve relations with the North through dialogue so that the six party talks can start again soon. Che said North Korea would like to achieve a nuclear free Korean peninsula through dialogue and consultations and that the six party talks should restart unconditionally. The two premiers also confirmed that their countries will cooperate to strengthen bilateral economic relations such as improving trade and infrastructure. 